Good evening on this uh, Sunday evening over here in Spain. It is already 10 p.m. So high time to do my life with you today before I hit my bed. <laughs> so the question of today is from Ina and she says, hi there. I have a blue light and I was wondering if I can use it to, to stimulate acupressure points. So, Ina, it is a fact you need a very, very specific uh, wavelength of light to be able to stimulate these points to have a similar effect as if you would do it in, with acupressure, you would do it with pressure. Or these are also, of course, acupuncture points, so in that case you would be using needles. Dr. Brian McLaren did a lot of studies for this at the end of the 1980s, beginning of the 1990s, and the light that he found that works best to stimulate acupuncture points or acupressure points is a single wavelength red light at 660 nanometers wavelength. So not infrared, not near infrared, not blue light, not green light, not yellow light, so to speak. It is a very specific red light at a 660 nanometer wavelength. So that is what you need if you want to be able to stimulate the acupuncture points or the acupressure points on our body or on that of our loved ones, on our pets to have a similar result as if you would be doing an acupressure, uh, acupuncture uh, session with needles. But the red light is of course a lot safer, a lot easier and a lot quicker than using it uh, with pressure because you're going to be busy for minutes per point or uh, you don't have to use needles like it would be in acupuncture. Finally, it's also better to use that specific red light because then you can do it yourself at home and repeat it every time you need it. Okay, so sorry for your blue, for your blue light. You can use your blue light for other things, but you will have to use a red light at 660 nanometers wavelength if you want to stimulate those points. Okay, that's it for tonight. I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Enjoy your Sunday for those in America and Canada.